With the dark and light values painted on the body of our lamp, the lamp shade is next. However, before we start, you've probably noticed we're only working in black and white. I like to do that for a couple of reasons. The first is because it's much easier to visualize and control the lights and the darks when you only have to concentrate on pure value without also having to deal with hue. And second is because Photoshop makes it so easy to colorize a black and white image, it really isn't necessary to work with color at this point. But don't worry, color's coming very soon. Let's begin our lampshade by first creating a new layer and calling it Shade. Then, using the Rectangular Marquee tool with a zero feather radius, create a rectangular box that's slightly wider than it is tall. The exact size and where you place it on the layer isn't critical. Then, select the Gradient tool and in the Options, get the Lamp Gradient. Make sure you're on the linear gradient, that's the first button. Mode should be normal, with the opacity set at 100%. Move down into the rectangular selection, and starting from the left, click and drag to the right while holding down the shift key to constrain the direction. When the cursor touches the edge of the selection on the right, let go of the mouse then the shift key. Now copy the gradation so it's in memory. Then get rid of it by hitting the delete key on your keyboard and then deselect. With our gradient now in memory, go to the paths palette and activate the lamp paths. Use the black arrow to highlight the path that pertains to the lamp shade and turn it into a selection with a zero feather radius. Now, go to the Edit menu and Paste Into. This will create a new layer with a layer mask in the shape of our lampshade, confining us to being able to see only what's inside that shape, which you can see if I slide the gradation around using the Move tool. We're going to use this gradation to define the shape of our lampshade. However, in order to do that and have our lampshade look real, we need this gradation to conform to the rules of light logic, which briefly states, cores and highlights always take on the shape of the object, cores referring to the shadowed side of the object, and highlights referring to the side facing the light source. We can do that very easily using free transform, command T, or control T if you're on a PC. When the bounding box appears, simply hold down the command key, control if you're on a PC, and move the corners of the bounding box just to the outside of the corners of our lampshade. Making sure you fill the entire shade and that the gradation follows the angle on both the left and right sides. When you're done, hit the return key to complete the transform. Then merge down to get rid of the mask and to keep the number of our layers to a minimum. Lock the layer position and the transparent pixels and save the file. Transparent pixels and save the file. And save the file. 